Welcome to your news ticker central, your place for technology and gadget top lists, must-haves and reviews. Before we begin, please take a second to subscribe. Now that you have subscribed, let's begin. Huawei Band 4 the touchscreen of Huawei Band 4 with a diagonal of 0.96 inches is protected by aluminosilicate glass. The manufacturer abandoned the OLED matrix and high resolution, opting for a conventional LCD display with a resolution of 160 by 80 pixels. And although this cannot be called a big disadvantage, the picture quality is still inferior to the previous Huawei Band 3. Many will appreciate that the Huawei Band 4 does not have some kind of unique charger, the USB plug is part of the bracelet body. The user simply removes the strap and plugs the tracker into a USB port for charging. Both 1A and 2A chargers are suitable for the gadget, this is really convenient. The bracelet takes into account 9 types of workouts, running on the street, running on a treadmill, walking outdoors and indoors, bicycle, exercise bike, ellipse, rowing machine, free training. But there is no mode for swimming, although the device is protected from water and can withstand dives to a depth of 50 meters. Huawei Band 3 Pro Fitness tracker with a bright color display made using AMOLED technology, the picture is clearly visible even in bright sunlight or underwater. The screen resolution is high for such a device, 240 by 120 pixels. And yes, there is just a training mode in the pool, and when it is activated, even the touchscreen is blocked so that it does not react to false positives. The built-in GPS module helps the fitness bracelet to count the activity on the street, another plus of the device. This allows you to more accurately determine the user's movements, moreover, you can go for a run without a heavy smartphone. In total, the tracker recognizes 8 training modes. On average, Huawei Band 3 Pro lasts up to 10 days on a single charge, but if you enable continuous heart rate monitoring, the autonomy will be reduced to about 3 days. It uses its own docking station for charging, which is connected using a USB cable. Xiaomi Mi Band 4 NFC Except for such a nice bonus as the NFC module, the Xiaomi Mi Band 4 NFC hasn't undergone any significant changes compared to its predecessor. The shape is the same, even the straps from the previous model fit the new one. The AMOLED touchscreen with a resolution of 240 by 120 pixels has good brightness and contrast, all labels and icons are easy to read. Also, 30 different dials are available for the bracelet, which allows you to personalize the device. The gadget can analyze six types of workouts, outdoor running, treadmill, cycling, walking, free exercise and swimming. However, in order to get more accurate indicators when practicing outdoors, you also need to take your smartphone with you, because there is no GPS module in the device. The device can boast of good autonomy, with the turned on every minute pulse analysis, the battery charge lasts an average of 13 days. And in economy mode, you can use the fitness tracker without recharging for up to 3 weeks, almost a record among competitors. Samsung Galaxy Fit. A fitness bracelet that boasts certification in accordance with the military standard MIL STD810G, this means that the gadget is not afraid of exposure to low or high temperatures, dust, sand, sudden changes in pressure, shaking, vibration and direct sunlight. Although, note that there are usually no complaints about reliability with bracelets with conventional water resistance standards. On Samsung smartphones, the bracelet is connected and controlled using native software. But to synchronize the fitness tracker with smartphones from other manufacturers, you need to download a couple of applications, Galaxy Wearable, directly for connection, and Samsung Health, for work. The pedometer is praised for its accuracy, although the bracelet does not have a built-in GPS sensor. Samsung Galaxy Fit can automatically detect the types of workouts, the list of which is very decent here, aerobics, running, swimming, badminton, exercise bike, treadmill and others. One battery charge when all functions are activated is enough for about a week, quite a decent result. Xiaomi Mi Band 5 The new bracelet differs from its predecessor by a large touchscreen AMOLED display with a diagonal of 1.1 inches, versus 0.95 inches, with a screen resolution of 294 by 126 pixels. The autonomy of the device has slightly decreased compared to Xiaomi Mi Band 4, but still remains at a decent level with constant heart rate monitoring, the battery lasts for about 10 days. Charging is done using a magnetic cable, so now you do not need to remove the tracker capsule from the strap, finally. 
the device supports 11 types of different workouts. Moreover, in some of them unique indicators are calculated, for example, when training on a rowing machine, the frequency and number of strokes will be taken into account, and when practicing in the pool, the swimming style and its pace are indicated. In addition, the bracelet can detect your stress level and your emotional state, it works by monitoring your heart rate variability. The device immediately offers to cope with negative experiences with the help of breathing exercises, for this purpose, a special application breathing has been created. After starting the function, the bracelet will begin to show how deep you need to inhale and how long the exhalation should take. The peaks are marked with vibration so the user knows exactly when to start exhaling and when to inhale. However, in the new version, Xiaomi has not implemented a smart alarm clock, users will have to do without it, or install third-party software. Honor Band 5 The main feature of this fitness tracker, and the difference from the previous version of the Honor Band 4, is the presence of a sensor designed to measure the level of oxygen in the blood. Oxygen measurement is started manually. The function is also available in the budget version of the bracelet, Honor Band 5i, but there it appears only after a software update. The touch screen is still based on AMOLED with a diagonal of 0.95 and a resolution of 240 by 120 pixels. The brightness is sufficient even for working outdoors, but only manual adjustment is supported. But Android users have a huge number of different dials that can be selected directly in the application Huawei Health. The gadget is not able to automatically recognize the types of activity, so you will have to start workouts manually. There are nine of them, outdoor and treadmill running, outdoor walking, treadmill walking, exercise bike, elliptical trainer, rowing machine, pool swimming, free training. But the monitoring of sleep phases in Honor Band 5 is highly praised by users for its accuracy. For this, Huawei's proprietary True Sleep technology is used. By the way, there is also a smart alarm clock that wakes up the user in that phase of sleep, when the awakening will be as comfortable as possible. A full battery, assuming that all functions except constant heart rate tracking will be turned on, will last for 5 to 7 days. When used economically, that is with disabled continuous monitoring of heart rate and sleep, autonomy will increase to 2 weeks. Unlike the Honor Band 5i, which can be charged by plugging the gadget into a USB charging block, it still uses a docking station. However, when connecting it, you do not need to get the fitness bracelet out of the strap, as in most Xiaomi trackers. Garmin Vivo Smart 4 Launched almost two years ago, the Garmin Vivo Smart 4 has not yet lost its relevance. The fitness bracelet differs from its brothers in the sleek design, while the weight of the device is just over 20 grams. Like more modern trackers, the Garmin Vivo Smart 4 has a blood oxygen sensor and even a barometric altimeter, which allows you to determine the user's altitude and more accurately calculate physical activity indicators. You can control the gadget using the special Garmin Connect application, which is available on Google Play and the App Store. But the OLED screen with a small resolution of 128 by 48 pixels is monochrome. This somewhat spoils the general impression, after all, we are already used to bright color displays. As for the autonomy, with regular activity measurements, the bracelet will have to be charged about once every five days. Are you using any of the above-mentioned smart bracelets? Which smart bracelet are you currently using? Do let us know in the comments below. That's all for now, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.